This is the wedding Satendra Dubey was planning for his younger sister Kusum. This is the ceremony he should have presided over as the eldest son and provider of a poor and simple family in a remote village in Bihar. Instead, all his old parents can do on this hot day of May 18, 2005 is to remember their son with love and longing. Satendra Dubey was murdered on November 27, 2003 for following his own conscience and telling the truth, for trying to right a wrong for the public good. This is where it all began. Satendra grew up in the Shahpur village in Bihar Sivan district, the eldest son in a family of five girls and two boys. His father worked in the sugar mill nearby and sent young Satendra to this school. The journey from this village school to IIT Kanpur, India's leading elite educational institution, must have been tough. But Satendra persevered, graduating with top honours in 1994. A record that till today, proud villagers claim no one has broken. From the Civil Engineering Department of IIT Kanpur to the Ministry of Road and Surface Transport and then on deputation to the National Highways Authority of India, in Kodarma and Gaya, Satendra's own road to success was full of roadblocks, as was the road he was sent to build, the Golden Quadrilateral. First, he discovered a nexus of corruption. Then he tried to stop it. When that didn't help, he blew the whistle and wrote directly to the Prime Minister of India asking for his identity to be kept secret. When that didn't happen, he was shot dead. And the school where Satendra Kumar Dubey played football doubled up as his cremation site. Almost two years later, there are too many questions and too few answers. What happened after the killing? Was there any public outrage? How long did it last? Were the guilty identified and held accountable? Did the corruption issue ever get addressed? Was the Whistleblower Act ever ratified? Did public opinion result in a movement for change? Was Satendra Dubey's death in vain? <laughs>